we got a large four bedroom house and it was taking a lot of doing and John wasn't really well. So, uh, and this was in Kenilworth, we were living in Kenilworth. And it's just worked out well. It's lovely to look at the garden and think I haven't got to do it. <laughs> Originally, my daughter heard about it and she went to the council offices and saw the planning department and found out what was happening and it just went on from there. And we were about the fourth people in. I've been on my own for quite a while and uh, I thought, well, change of place can only be good for you. But at the same time, close enough to keep in touch with the people that, you know, you did get on well with before. They have a, a Scrabble night on a Monday, which is good. They have a quiz night, usually on a Friday night, and a film show on a Thursday night, and uh, that only leaves you a couple of nights to uh, get your washing done. <laughs> My daughter lives in Warwick and her husband, and, uh, but uh, we still keep in touch with our friends. We lived in Malthouse Lane a long time and then we moved down to Mountbatten and we still keep in touch with our neighbours and they come and see us and have a meal with us, so it's great. We've got a very nice lot of people here. We're very lucky, very lucky. As you can see, we, we, sat, we sat around, I mean, sometimes there's a lot more sitting around. Um, we just go and sit down and have to lunch and put the world to right. Losing furniture, I think, was one of the worst things. Um, you've got heavy, dark oak furniture and you know that very well you can't put it in there, so you've got to sell it. Um, I think that was one of the worst things. I suppose going from four bedrooms down to two and just a lounge. Uh, but um, you get so used to it after a while and we're so happy there, that's the main thing. And as I say, they're all, they're, everyone's pleasant and everyone's friendly with one, and we're all friendly with one another, which, as it's growing, it's very good, really. Because we, when we came in, there weren't that many people. So we've watched it grow. There's um, a staff bedroom, and there's somebody sleeps there every night. And of course, we've got the pullers in the bathroom and in the main bedroom. I haven't got one in my bedroom, but in John, the Scotties, um, and of course we've got the intercom which you press, so uh, yes it's fine, if you ring them they're very good, very good indeed, unless of course they've had somebody else ring them beforehand, <laughs> but it's never, no, that hasn't happened, they're very good, very cheerful, even if we wake them up. <laughs> we did it, when well, we did. Before we were told we've got to do it, we were able to please ourselves. I think some people leave it too long and then they don't want to do it. I'm very happy here. <laughs>